let's create a new Java FX project. Then, then I will show you how to use uh, Tap Paint with uh, Java FX 16. If you haven't uh, upgraded to Java FX 16, please do so. So we have three files, controller, sample, main, open instant builder. So we have a grid pane. Let me copy controller, remove. We are going to use uh, tap pane. I will use tap pane with uh, two, two tabs. So here is the default ones, uh, tap pane. The first tab has one anchor pane. Second tab also has one anchor pane. You can add additional tab, simply drag and drop. So the first one, tab pane, we can name FXID. I will just type initial, TP. Then uh, the first tab, I will just say tab 1. And then tab 2 and tab 3. So if you go back to your tab, you can name your, the first one I would say product. Second one I will say um, order. Next one, summary. As you can see, we have a tab pane with uh, three tabs. Let's create a simple application with uh, three checkbox. One button. Uh, second tab. We are going to add text area. And then one button. Okay, for summary, I will just leave it. I will say Apple. Orange. Pair. Order. This one, uh, DTN order. Check Apple. Orange, then pair. So BTN order, we can have one uh, email handler methods. Handle BTN order. This will be a TA summary. Then this is going to be a New order. BTN new order. Even handle 
and the repeat in new order. So when you select one item, we can order, and the uh, order will appear. When you click new order, we can go back, and then uh, summary, and so on. Okay, let me check the controller. Okay, paste it. Uh, package name sample, and controller name is controller save so that you can link with uh, fxml and then uh, your java project project structure libraries java we are going to use java fx16 on the java this is where I save uh, Java Pax SDK 16. Okay. Okay. Apply. Okay. Now this project can locate Java Pax SDK library. Start with the uh, tab pane. Let's set the uh, data field to controller class. Tab 3, then let's go up. I think we miss a uh, event handler. Here we go. Okay. Okay, pretty much that's all. Let's change the private. I uh, will copy paste it. Okay, here we will add um, FXML annotation. One more, tab 3, okay, TA, PDN new order, and tab 3 for FXML annotation. Let's start with the uh, check orange is selected. Then we say um, order amount is uh, 1.0. Basically, say orange is one dollar uh, per kilogram, for example, so that we can add a number. We do the same thing for uh, apple and then pear. Let's say one dollar twenty, one dollar ten cents.
Okay, after this one, um, we need to display our order amounts to TA summary, so append text. Order amount, which is double value, so let's change the string. Because append text take only a string value. And when you click order, we should be able to move to second tab of uh, same tab pane. So get selection model, select tab number two. For um, For tab 2, uh, we should be able to go back after we can clear our actual value. So here we should be able to go back after we can reset. So tab number 1. Let's add a new line. Okay, here I think it's better to say clear. And then uh, order amount should be um, reset to zero when we start a new order. Okay, seems okay now. So edit configuration, VM options. Model pass. So this time I'm using um, JavaFX 16. I upgraded to 16 a couple of days ago. So add a, add modules. JavaFX controls, then JavaFX FXML. Apply OK. Uh, let me build it first, then run it. So if you select orange, okay, one dollar. So let's select one more. It's two, two point zero. So order here, one dollar. Okay, add it. Okay, three point two. Summary, we haven't done anything, that's okay. New order, clear out. So this append text, maybe we can just change to set text. I think that's going to be more clear. So if we have here Apple 1, Okay, and if you have one more orange, two, if you have two more, 4.2, I think it makes more sense. Order, same, 6.4. New order, reset. You can check it, nothing there. We can start with orange again. It's going to give us 1.0, that's it. So now it makes sense. That's all. Thank you.